Okay, so we're here with the round 9 recap, just looking through all the games and then seeing what that means for the ladder. So this round, we made sure that every single game was done with player 1 being the away team. So let's... Holy crap, I'm actually looking at this and I see what that meant for the results. So, Gold Coast got over the top of the West Coast Eagles, that was by 29. We had Geelong winning by 40 over Richmond. We had a close game here, it was a 10 point victory for Frio over the Sydney Swans. Port Adelaide got over the top of North Melbourne. We had Melbourne in over Hawthorne here. Essendon winning by three goals over the Brisbane Lions. We see the Bulldogs got a victory over Carlton. We see St. Kilda over Adelaide. And last game we've just come from GWS beating Collingwood. Now, as I mentioned, we had player one beat the away team, and the away team won every single one of these games. That is something that we have to be very aware of. Um... Let's see what it means for the ladder, ultimately. So, Frio are still on top. Uh, they've won all but one game up until this point. They have 32 points. Next, we're two games clear. But, second, third, and fourth, all of which on 24 points. Difference is only by percentage. We have Port Adelaide, Richmond, and Essendon. Rounding out the eight. Next, over here, we got on 20 points, we have GWS, Geelong, Bulldogs, and St. Kilda all on 20. Currently inside the top 8, we have Sydney over in ninth place, also on 20, so they're only out by percentage at this point in time. After that, we got Melbourne, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Hawthorne, and Adelaide, all at the moment on 16 points. So they're only one game, one win outside the top 8, plus percentages. But at the moment, it's all still very tight for them. They can all be able to make it within finals come season's end. We round out the ladder. We have Carlton and West Coast each with three wins apiece at the moment on 12 points and rounding out. Collingwood and North Melbourne, each only with two wins at the moment. Uh, that can all change potentially, but it's things at the moment are currently not looking good for them. So tomorrow we will start round 10. That will be Port Adelaide and Melbourne. There is potential that I don't know how many games we will have tomorrow. I'm unaware of at the moment. We'll be filling things out. Uh, but that top eight again, we have Frio on top, Port Adelaide, Richmond, and Essendon rounding out the top four, with GWS, Geelong, Bulldogs, and St. Kilda rounding out the top eight.